sort of guy. This shit only goes on when I want to do a video. Every time I'm not trying to do a video, house is completely silent. Every time I'm trying to do a video, there's 600 things going on around this bitch. <sighs> anyway. Ah. Whew. I feel like Kawhi. What is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Valandis back with another video today. And um, first half of this video is gonna be me explaining and talking about some things that I have gone through throughout my photography career. And I'm pretty sure other people have gone through it too, but I just wanna talk about it a little bit more and just like put my perspective on it and just say my feelings and the way I feel towards these things. Sometimes when I talk about things, people think that like I'm taking it personal or like just forget about the haters, man. Do you and do this and blah, 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 which I do agree with. But sometimes it's not always just forgetting about the haters. Sometimes you gotta talk about stuff because there's other people going through things and it's a way to shed light on stuff. So if nobody else is gonna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not one to put things on hold or I talk about how I feel about stuff, like my feelings. I'm in tune with them, you know what I'm saying? Real man, you feel me? So when I feel a certain way about certain things, I'm gonna talk about it or I'm gonna mention it. I'm not gonna talk about this for long, but I more so wanna just tell people to stay true to themselves. This is what this topic and conversation is gonna be about is staying true to yourself. I wrote a post on Instagram yesterday and pretty much I was saying that a lot of people compromise and give up who they are as a person, forget and throw away all their views and morals and whatever else they may hold on to for brand work or for companies to hire them or to be noticed. Me, as you know, I take pictures of hood stuff like guns and people smoking and shit like that. This is all personal to my work, just my personal work. I don't really do, I don't do this work for anybody unless it's asked for. So um, this is just my personal work and just what I want and my legacy to be remembered as. Not so much as the guns and the the gang shit, you know what I'm saying? As some people may say, because if that's all you see through my photos, then you're already lost. I more so want my legacy to be that I shot whatever I wanted to shoot. I brought awareness to certain situations and certain things. And regardless of what that may have done for my work or me getting work, I still stay true to myself. And even with this YouTube shit, like I don't get on here and I'm all overly animated because that's not who I am in real life. So I'm not gonna get in front of a camera, do all this shit, turn the camera off and go back to being who I really am. I'm gonna be who I am on camera, off camera, on social media, off social media. So that's more so of what I wanted to get across with the post that I had put up yesterday. Just to elaborate on that a little bit more. And I'm not so much even talking about me because I've worked with brands like Nike, Adidas and you know what I'm saying just brands in general so I'm not really so much as talking about me but I have lost out on work because of what I shoot I'm not gonna mention the brand but I had a friend get into an argument with somebody who worked for this brand and they were thinking about making me an influencer for this brand and they brought it up to the person they were like whoa we can't work with this person like they post guns and all this other stuff and blah 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 and he pointed out like we worked with somebody who also posts guns and he showed it to him like look he's in a rural area of america he's white he posts guns but yet they worked with him and then the guy tried to tell him like well that's different and then my friend so graciously spoke up and said why because they're black and they're in the hood and not like a rural part of america like there's literally no difference guns is guns no matter who's posting them no matter who's holding them a gun is a gun. And for me, I'm a part of the culture. You don't, I don't have to go searching for somebody for an in with the culture. I'm a part of it, I'm here. Like not even trying, like I have an in with the culture that these people and these brands wanna be a part of, but can't be a part of without reaching out to people like me. But because that I post guns and other stuff on my page, they'll, they'll bypass that and they'll pay some kid from West Bloomfield to do it. And you know what I'm saying? They'll do whatever they have to do to get that kid in the situation, even though kids like me, See, I'm not even always talking about me because I'm good, I'm fine, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I do not care. But it's, it's gonna be kids like me who are gonna miss out on stuff like that because of where they come from and what, because they're true to themselves and they don't compromise their, their values and stuff for social media or brand gigs or jobs and shit like that. So with all that being said, I just wanted to touch on that and tell people that no matter what you do, no matter where you are in life, where you live at, where you come from, be true to yourself because if brands and companies and all these other people aren't gonna fuck with you because you do what you do, there's people out there who will, you know what I'm saying? Like the streets are gonna fuck with you regardless of what you do. So there's always gonna be a way to um, make money and 
make a living within this industry without having to compromise your values or be somebody you're not. At first, like it was hard for me to understand it because I didn't understand because to me, I was a talented photographer. Why well, look past or bypass talent because of what I shoot in my personal time? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like if you ask me to shoot a shoe, I'm gonna put a, a gun in the picture of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what these people who are higher up, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're like older white men who come from, you know what I'm saying, rich families and stuff like that. So they, they don't understand and they don't really get people like me. So they just bypass it all together. They, this is gonna compromise the brand or blah, blah, blah. You don't even have to put, and then some, some of the times they don't even put your names on the photos anyway, or what they're using the photos for, like social media stuff. It's not like they tag you in these photos. So who's to care? Or who's to say that you even shot the photos, you know what I'm saying? So when I, when I first started out, it was hard to like get a grasp on that. But then like, I kinda, but then this is another thing where you kinda just like say, fuck it. Like, that's what it is. This is it. This is how it is and whatever. Like, this is how it's gonna be. And you just deal with it and you accept it. I'm to a point where I've accepted it. Cause I mean, it is their brand. They, they can do whatever they want for their brand. They can go get Su Susie, Sally, Jeff, John, whoever to shoot their photos for them and that's cool but then they they're trying to alienate and keep you out of a culture that you're a part of more than they are in the first place you know what i'm saying like they profit off the culture that they're not even a part of i say all of that stuff just to say stay true to yourself regardless of what you're going through regardless of what you shoot regardless of what you do what you if you rap sing draw take photos videos stay true to what you believe in and what you do because just because there's people out there who's not gonna rock with you there's people who will fight for you and there's people who will do anything that they can to see talent prevail and succeed so for me to shoot all this stuff and get all the backlash i've gotten from shooting all this shit and people telling me i'm this type of person or you know what i'm saying judging my character based off the photos that i take like i'm a photographer you know what I'm saying? They judge me based off the photos I take. For me to have to deal with all that and then still stay true to who I am and never give up on like what I believed in or change what I shot or change the person I was because the internet didn't like it or I wasn't getting enough jobs or anything like that. To still come out on top and be who I am and be able to preach these things to people like you guys. Yeah, it means a lot to me. And just for me and my character, like, I'll never compromise that or give that up for anything. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say within that post that I posted yesterday without going so deep into it like how I did today. So anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna even make this into, maybe I can make this into a vlog really because I feel like it's not gonna be long enough and I don't really wanna just sit here and talk all day on camera. So maybe I can make this into a vlog or do something. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or um, if I'm gonna put something after this, maybe I'll talk after this. So I don't really want to do this part right now. So, um, yeah, let's just go see what the day has to bring. Um, I just woke up too. So sorry if it seemed like I'm all down and shit like that. People always be saying that like, I'll be, I'll be looking high. I don't smoke at all. So I don't be high when I be in these talking in these videos. I just be chilling. Like, this is just who I am. My eyes are always low. My fiance even said the other day, like, you look high. Like, it's probably why people think you're high because your eyes be all low and you just be talking all monotone and shit. But that's just who I am. That's how I talk. That's, I'm just a chill person. So, um, no, I do not smoke. So anyway, with that being said, let's go do some shit, man. All right, so actually, I just came back downstairs because um, I just wanted to say some stuff that I think I forgot to say, and that's um, that I am not mad. I hope I didn't sound mad or pissed off in this video because I am not mad, nor am I pissed off. Um, so hopefully I didn't come across as like angry or bitter, or just Ugh. There was a point in time in my career, like early on where I was, angry and bitter because of I felt like I deserve things that you know what I'm saying like I feel like we all get to a point where we feel like we deserve shit that we don't really deserve or we feel like we should be in places just because you know what I'm saying not even gonna get into all that and before somebody in the comment goes well all brands have a right to protect their brand and work with who and decide who they work with and blah 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 blah, blah which I understand and I wanted to make that very apparent in the video and I don't know if I did because I'm editing it and I don't really see myself saying that it just sounds like i'm angry at brands for not working with me which is not the case but i do want to uh make it clear and uh people aware that these things do happen i know that like and it just isn't guns i know that some of my friends that i know like 
were denied work because they shoot women uh, naked or just anything. Like you don't have to shoot guns or women naked to be denied something in this industry. So with that being said, I just wanted to bring awareness to it and just like how I kind of feel about it now. And I do want to thank the brands that have worked with me, although I shoot the things that I do and um, thank them because some of them respect me a lot more knowing that I shoot these things and how I feel about these things and not straying away from shooting these things, even though um, I could be denied work from other brands. So like, I do want to thank the brands that I have worked with for acknowledging that I am a good artist and that I uh, and that they respect what I do and my position on these things within the industry because a lot of people will like I said give up on everything they will uh, give up on everything I could have said well you know what this shit isn't making me money so now I'm done doing it I'm never gonna shoot this shit again if I do shoot it, I'm not even gonna post it on the internet because I don't want it to interfere with my work or I, I wanna you know what I'm saying I could have been that person but I'm not so I damn near might do a rant every month because I could talk about something like this every single month but I don't really want to sound like I'm bitching but who cares I might just bitch call it a day I'm about to go take the dog for a walk and that's probably the only thing I'm gonna do today plus I don't want this video being a part of another video where like some people might not even watch this part because it's a part of another video and then they see me talking I'm, like, I'm not gonna watch that blah 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 so um yeah doing some cool shit tomorrow hopefully so I'm gonna film that and yeah we back to it but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you are not subscribed please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button it is truly appreciated and if you are subscribed ring the bell so you get notified every single time I drop a new video it is truly appreciated and um I just want to thank you guys I just want to thank you guys who got through all this talking and uh, complaining and bitching and moaning. I want to thank you guys if you made it to the end and uh, hopefully you got something out of it. If you didn't, like I always say, I got something out of it because I learned a lot, not necessarily from this video, but throughout the process. So I appreciate you guys, man. Let's go do some shit, finally.